I'll give the floor to Paul Nuttall, EFDD. Uh, thank you, Chairman. Uh, Madam Commissioner, the number one issue in Britain today is immigration. Opinion polls bear this out day after day. Labour mobility is in reality an open door to the whole of the European Union, 450 million people. And last year alone, a quarter of a million people came to the UK to live, work and claim benefits, the majority from within the European Union. Now, to put this in perspective, so everyone in this room understands, that is a city the size of Strasbourg. It's unsustainable, it's driving up unemployment and driving down wages. So therefore my question is this, if a British government enters into renegotiation of its EU membership, would you or the Commission in general be willing to give Britain full rights to control its own borders and restrict access to European migrants? A simple yes or no will suffice. Thank you. If you want to be a member of the European Union, then we have to expect that the minimum rules, the basic pillars of the European Union are respected by all member states. We're not at the level of the negotiating yet. That will happen at a different level. And freedom of movement is very important. I know that uh, the people in the UK are very keen on the single market, but it's single market isn't just for goods, services, and capital. There's also freedom of movement for people, and we have to protect that. But we have to make sure that it's done in a fair way. We have to make sure that the free movement happens in a fair way and so there isn't too much pressure on local services in the country. The local services have to know what the situation is, what the legislation is. We have to make sure the legislation is applied properly. That goes hand in hand with freedom of movement of workers. We have our directives and coordination of Social Security. Uh, Social Security is developing in the countries. We need to, to revise the directives. But the basic principle of people being allowed to move around Europe without losing social protection is a basic tenet that we must maintain. But we have to make sure at the, that in the social security coordination directive there aren't things that give rise to abuse. We have to look at where the abuse is occurring and if there is abuse we have to tackle it. But freedom of movement of persons and a single market for people as well is the pillar that I'm not prepared to shake. Uh, thank you uh, Madam Commissioner for your explicit I'm very honest answer to my previous question and confirming that there will be no renegotiation of labour mobility and freedom of movement across the EU. Moving on, I'd like to ask two final questions. Are there any concessions that you would consider giving to the UK on labour mobility in order to keep it in the European Union? And if Britain still cannot accept freedom of movement laws and unrestricted labour mobility, Following renegotiation and reform, do you personally believe the UK should then leave the European Union? Thank you. Mr. Collega, that is a frag. Colleague, that's not a question for me, really. I can't decide on that. Come what may, I think it has to be clear that we have rules, we have a treaty, there are some fundamental principles written into that treaty which must remain because otherwise the very structure of European integration would be torn apart, and that cannot be our intention. The President-elect Jean-Claude Juncker has made the point, uh, I agree, we, we are not blind to the issues faced by certain member states. We're examining those problems and, and looking at what can be done, but you cannot uh, expect me to... Uh, leap into the breach. As um, C Commissioner for Employment, Social Affairs, Skills and Labour Mobility, I, I can't just take a unilateral initiative and say that, that if they don't expect this, the, uh, the UK must just leave. No, surely 
we must do everything we we need to endeavor that we can find an understanding. Let's listen to each other carefully. Let's pay due attention to the, the problems we, we face and, and then find a solution. But the, we have to start by, by careful discussions. Then we'll see what sort of decisions emerge.